अभिजीत यू मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट सेवरल कंट्रीज है फॉलो एंड आर स्टिल फॉलोइंग द पॉलिसी ऑफ एस फाइव एन एच एंड दे कंसीडर इट एस एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ देयर फॉरेन पॉलिसी व्हाट यू थिंक एस फाइव एन एच एस एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पॉलिसी इज इट जस्टिफाइड इन अ मॉडर्न लिबरल वर्ल्ड ओके you are you said you have done your b and with distinction right yes sir how would you put your qualifications to good use in the civil services yes sir. i was going through your service preferences yes and uh, indian revenue services has been placed at fourth and fifth position yes okay what will mechanical engineer do in irs don't you think that job should be for A specialized person who is a performance management. Yes, please come. Please take a seat. Abhijit. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Abhijit? I am very fine, sir. Abhijit, introduce yourself to the board. Yes. But highlight the values and virtues that shape your personality. Yes. Sir. What are the values that you hold very dear in life? Highlight at least three values. Sir, it is the objectivity. Sir, second is the honesty, and third is the transparency. If there is a clash between honesty and integrity, what will you prefer? Sir, it is. Abhijit, uh, you have political science and international relations yes. as your optional subject. Abhijit, can you tell me something about? Cultural imperialism. Yes, sir. Sir, it is a theory uh, forwarded by the Edward Said, and the, from uh, this perspective, the egocentrism, uh, that is the colonial mindset, uh, spread to the colony, and the still their hold on the uh, uh, East West uh, colonies like India, uh, African countries. Uh, second, uh, as per him, uh, the egocentric ideas like uh, human rights or the Balance of the power are mm. eurocentric ideas, mm. and then not any concern with the uh, orientation. Okay. Okay. But Abhijit, have you heard about a concept called strategic hedging? No, sir. I am not. You are not. Uh, Abhijit, you must be aware about the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Yes, sir. What is your take on that? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, from my perspective. Uh, Uh, us led bloc that is the nato uh, does not consider the russia's sensitivity mm -hmm. and second uh, ukraine failed to understand even though in the international sphere all the mm -hmm. countries are sovereign independent mm -hmm. but uh, their vulnerability should not be equal so russia is more vulnerable than the ukraine mm -hmm. uh, from the nato's invasion and mm -hmm. nato's encroachment uh, in their vicinity then are you saying that putin's actions are justified no sir Uh, Abhijit, let us suppose that Putin gains an unassailable lead in this conflict yes. and overpowers Ukraine yes. in every possible manner. What will be the ramification of that? Yes, sir. sir, first it is the Russia's uh, posture from the international economy, mm. and uh, it is directly and indirectly affecting India's energy security. Mm. Sir, second it is the uh, polarization in the world, mm. which affects the India's side. Context, we can bring in the concept of strategic hedging. I hope now that makes sense to you. 
strategic hedging means how you balance your strategic priorities. So thank you. How you hedge your risks. Yes. Abhijit, you must be aware that several countries have followed and are still following the policy of espionage. Yes. And they consider it as an integral part of their foreign policy. Yes. What do you think? Espionage as an integral part of international policy. Is it justified in a modern liberal world? Suppose you are the Secretary General of yes. United Nations yes. and there is a motion which is to be considered that espionage in all its forms should be banned. Yes. And it's a casting vote kind of situation. Yes. You have to cast a vote. Yes. Which way will you go? Abhijit, I was going through your positions of distinction, leadership held in school and college. Yes. And what has attracted my immediate attention is you have served as a member of school cabinet yes. and your designation was the health minister. Yes, sir. Abhijit, I would like to know from you how this cabinet functioned and yes, it was sir. responsible to which work? Sir. This body, yes. cabinet, or council of ministers, was it an elected body? Yes, sir. Uh, each member has elected uh, uh, members in this, but they are independently uh, elected from the 20 participants in the whole school, mm. and from this, eight are uh, selected as a minister as per their voting. Uh, there was no legislative body which acted as a check on this body. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So, who framed the rules? Sir, uh, it is the uh, The rules were framed democratically? No, sir. Uh, the, they are framed by the institution and their uh, leading leaders, sir. Okay. Uh, so, what was the composition of this cabinet? How many ministers? Sir, eight ministers, and starting from the uh, chief minister, second is the home minister, mm -hmm. third finance, fourth eighth minister, mm -hmm. fifth the fourth minister, mm -hmm. sixth cultural minister, seventh mm -hmm. environment minister, mm -hmm. and eighth, I am not able to. Okay. Can one person serve in two ministries or in multiple ministries? No, sir. No, sir. That was not the case. Not. Okay. How it was ascertained that Abhijit is the best candidate for health ministry and not for sports ministry? How this was ascertained? Remember any novel step that you took as the health minister? Yes, sir. Uh, I have divided the entire the school in the blocks and 
and each block assigned to the each classroom and the cleanliness is the particular concern of that section. So it brings the cleanliness and the competitive approach uh, in the cleanliness drive. Okay. Abhijit, you have done your bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Yes, sir. Right? And uh, this is also reflected from your DAF that you were also the vice chairperson of training and placement set. Yes, sir. Now, Abhijit, why do you think that most of the engineers who are graduating in this country, they're not fit for industry? Yes, sir. What is the reason behind it? Yes, sir. Sir, first it is the gap between the what uh, syllabus are taught in the schools mm -hmm. and what industry is expecting from the students. Mm -hmm. So second, it is the practical training, uh, mm -hmm. which is lack of the trained teachers mm -hmm. and the interest from the student equally. Mm -hmm. Sir, third is the kind of the problem uh, growth. Mm -hmm. Because this in turn arises the skill development. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suppose you have to launch a skill development program. Yes, sir for those who are in their eighth semester yes and who are pursuing mechanical engineering yes by looking at today's day and age yes the challenges what kind of program will you suggest so first my reference will be the curated and then which can be accessed at any time at any place mm -hmm. the second is the virtual training center mm -hmm. which can be accessed in the decentralized manner mm -hmm. uh, which accommodates the instant development now, as the vice chairperson of training and placement cell, yes, did you ever face uh, challenges regarding human resource management? Yes, sir. What kind of challenges are there? It's nice to hear, Abhijit. Abhijit, uh, as your extracurricular activity, you have mentioned something called Traffic Forum. Yes, Can sir. you elaborate on that? Yes, sir. So, Traffic Forum is a broad platform uh, under which various activities regarding the traffic road safety is conducted. Mm -hmm. uh, major events like traffic parliament, mm -hmm. helmet drive, road safety audits, mm -hmm. uh, and the awareness campaign in the college. Fourth is the intra college debate on the traffic and road safety. Okay. Suppose, Abhi, I am looking for a license yes, for sir. a four-wheel. Yes, sir. Name three tests that I have to undertake. Sorry, sir. I am not sure. Uh, Abhijit, have you heard about this uh, AUKUS? A -U -K -U -S? Yes. Which is very much in use. Yes, nowadays. sir. Can you tell me something about it? Sir, so, yes. Yeah. It is the bilateral security dialogue. Anything specific about this arrangement which was not present in any previous arrangement which involved these three countries? Yes, sir. Sir, it is. Okay, what kind of submarines? USA and UK have pledged yes. a definite kind of submarines for Australia. Do you have any idea what kind of submarine is it? What are the underlying opportunities for India in this? Yes, sir, it is the intensive, uh, intensive, uh, sorry, it is intensified 
as a uh, secondary dialogue in the Indo-Pacific. Mm-hmm. Secondly, it brings the UK, which is not present actively in the Indo-Pacific. Mm-hmm. Region. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the third is the explicit commitment mm-hmm. regarding the maritime and security dialogue mm-hmm. to engage and to contain China. Thank you. Thank you, sir. sir. Abhijit. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of the name Abhijit? Sir. date of birth happens to be the 21st of April. Yes, sir. And uh, 21st of April is celebrated in India as what day? Sir, uh, there are two events I was discussing. Uh, it is the 21st of April, uh, 50, uh, the exact month year, uh, but it is the uh, first Panipat war which brings the Mughal Pira in the region. The second period is considered as a national civil service day. Uh, what is the purpose of uh, celebrating this as the National Civil, Civil Services Day? Sir, yes. Sir, it... On this day, uh, Honorable our uh, First Home Minister, Uttarabhadra Mai Pade, uh, brings the National Civil Services. And the second is the, on this day, uh, award given to the uh, service, uh, to recognize the service given by the civil service. What was the appeal that he made to the people? And who were the people whom he addressed? You said your name stands for victorious. Yes. Okay, tell me which is the biggest victory that you have achieved in your life till today? Sir, my firm, uh, this international, you may uh, start to uh, organize, the, some task, uh, organize the activities of the company. We started in the 2019 company. Uh, something little bit unorganized way. So, to enhance its organized way, to enhance its financial uh, management, and to enhance its inventory. And uh, my employer recognized it, I had done it <coughs> for eight months. So, this is considered my victory. Uh, people, uh, you know, uh, who have their birthdays in this period. 21st April, April period, they are supposed to be perfectionists. Yes. Are you? Yes, sir. Traffic forum, you said? Yes, sir. Uh, and you talked about road safety particularly. Yes. Tell me what are the three C's of, uh, th- uh, uh, three E's of yes. road safety? Engineering? Yes, sir. So, first, it is the design phase. Uh, example, we should have not very much cut, cut which is in angle and not in 90 degree, which brings the more accident. So, second, it is the road safety point. Before the design, in the implementation phase, and after the uh, operation of the road, and brings uh, suggestions given by road safety body uh, in the design, operation, and maintenance phase. Something very important. I am a question in that. I ask you, when you say the three E's, the first E is engineering. Yes, sir. So what is it about engineering that makes uh, for road safety, that helps road safety, makes it better? Yes, it is that too. And when you talk in terms of road design, what do you mean by road design? Sir, road design basically is the kind of material we use, kind of a design. Uh, it is whether the straight line or the previous curve in it. What kind of design, what speed we expecting on this road and what should be the user on this uh, road. 
So what is the purpose of a speed breaker on uh, in terms of uh, road engineering? Okay, you said the other hobby is uh, trekking. Yes, sir. What is the difference between hiking and trekking? Sir, hiking is the kind of a walking for the short period, say uh, four to five hours. But uh, trekking goes on the two, one or two or three day or so, or sometimes weeks or so. Okay, that is one difference. Any other difference? No, sir. I am not sure. Okay. Uh, you are, you said you have done your B and uh, with distinction, right? Yes, sir. How would you put your uh, qualifications to good use in the civil services? Yes, sir. Okay. So how would you put that to use actually when I talk in terms of how actually will you put that into use in your civil services uh, activities? Yes, sir. sir uh, mechanical engineering has concept like brainstorming. So mm -hmm. I can start brainstorming at the world culture to played cricket also, right? And yes. you're fond of cricket. Yes. Uh, you participated in uh, the college cricket team. Uh, the performance of Indian cricket team yes. in the last one year, Yes. Sir. what do you have to say about it? Sir, it is the kind of a somewhat on the Fifth in the ranking list. Sorry, sir. Okay. Uh, one last question. We recently had a missile episode. Yes, sir. What were the lessons you learned from that? Yes, sir. Uh, it is the dialogue uh, which uh, required to bring the peace even in the vulnerable situation. So second, uh, it is the active uh, monitoring inspection regarding the functioning of missile system, especially with we put, uh, put the missile system on such vulnerable areas. The third, it is to bring accountability and to speedy, uh, speedy action against those who take uh, who responsible for such action. Anything else? No, sir. Sagar? Abhijit? Yes. Abhijit, uh, you are from Ahmed Nagar? Yes, sir. So, Ahmed Nizam Shah won established Ahmed Nagar, right? Yes, sir. Tell me something about uh, his cultural affiliations and uh, specific infrastructures in Ahmed Nagar which represents those uh, affiliations. Thank you. 
Recently, Karnataka was in news, and uh, the specific policy of Karnataka government, which states that uh, non-Hindus will not should not be allowed in the vicinity of temple premises to perform any kind of business activities. Do you agree with such policies? No, sir. Uh, we have following our composite culture, and which is our cherished. Idea of the composite culture. So, all the public uh, institutions like temple, mosque should be free for all kinds of activities. And what article do you support your stand? What article of the constitution? The article 14, right to equal education. Okay. Are you aware about Vithal uh, Rao Patil ji? Have you heard about Vithal Rao Patil? No, sir. He was What's from Ahmed Sir, uh, I am heard about Vishal Rao, Vishy Patil, uh, which brings the cooperative union. Uh, I am talking about, about him only. Yes, sir. So tell me something about him. Sir, the pioneer of the cooperative movement in the Ahmed Nagar. Mm -hmm. They started the cooperative venture in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Second, they run a uh, cooperative venture on the democratic, professional and uh, financially sustainable manner. And third, it is the active voice to the small and marginal farmers. What was the need of cooperatives in Amundal? Sir, uh, first it is the exploitation of the small farmers through by the money lenders uh, and the private uh, sugar mill. So second is the non-organization of the farmers and their not active voice in the uh, in the policies or in the industrial areas or uh, in the industrial area. The third it is to bring uh, or to enhance the farm gate price for the farmers. Okay. Uh, Ahmed Nagar is considered as broad prone district. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Then why sugar mills were established? Yes. So first, there is a large sugar producing district in the Maharashtra. That's what my question is. If uh, Ahmed Nagar is a broad prone district, yes. then why sugar, sugar cane is largely produced? Yes. Sir, it is the But it is water intensive crops? Yes, sir. Then? So, second, uh, they have uh, assured for purchase uh, from the sugar mill and at the assured price. You didn't get my question. My, my point, point is, uh, uh, don't you think that, that government should discourage uh, production of sugar cane in those areas which are drought prone areas? Yes, sir, definitely, sir. So, you would support that, right? Yes, sir. Then what is the alternative for good farmers? Uh, who will leave production of sugar cane? Sir, they have uh, alternative like the pulses, uh, like the oil seeds, and also uh, wheat, onion. Why the government is not promoting it? Sir, uh, first it is the resistance from the farmer and the sugar mill itself. Sir, uh, second it is the specialization of the farmer in the sugar uh, sugar uh, production. Mm -hmm. And sir, third, it is the lack of the incentive like the MST basket and the MST purchase in the Maharashtra, uh, some kind of a business. It is said that India is a net exporter of water. Yes. Why? Sir, it is the incentive crop like sugar, sugar rice. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second is the low water use efficiency, which is currently at only 27% in India. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you must, must have, have heard about Raleigh the Raleigh Yes, sir. Yes. What do you don't like about Anna Azari? Mm -hmm. So first... Special quality? So first their authoritative approach, uh, like the uh, uh, capital punishment to the uh, first uh, public officer. Mm -hmm. So second their... Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Take your time.
sir has asked you about uh, ukraine russia back yes what are the lessons for india to learn support that defense expenditures should be considered as developmental expenditures from now onwards yes sir definitely sir what is one health approach Sir, I am not able to recall machine learning. Okay. You did your mechanical engineering in 2015, right? Yes, sir. Then you started your job at S International. Yes, sir. With 20,000 remuneration. Yes. Sir. What I feel is that uh, even after doing uh, mechanical engineering with such a good score of 71 percentage. Yes, sir. Your pay was very less. Yes. Sir. And that motivated you to go for civil service. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the role of science in shaping the society? said that civil services uh, in its recent form is promoting mediocrity. Do you support that argument? Mediocrity means that uh, it promotes average person over the excellent person. Yes, sir. Because the examination is of such a kind yes, sir. that the general uh, studies is being asked. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, that is being relied upon. So, average person is selected over some excellent person, yes, which sir. could have performed uh, better in the Also, 
okay. I was going through your service preferences yes. and uh, Indian Revenue Services has been placed at fourth and fifth position. Yes. Okay. What will mechanical engineer do in IRS? Don't you think that job should be for a specialized person who is a performance graduate? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, mechanical engineering student or any engineering student has a positive approach towards the uh, make uh, make new friends in the college, uh, going through all the campus. That is not specific to mechanical engineering. Yes. Any collegian has to make new friends. Okay. okay. Uh, one, one last question, question from, from my side. Uh, you were interested in road traffic. Yes, sir. Uh, and discussed. How would you differentiate expressway from natural highway? In structural form. Sorry, what is the difference? Or there is no, no difference as the difference. Thank you, sir. Abhijit, I was just checking your Order of preference for, for state, state card. card. Yes, sir. Are you, are you biased against tribals? No, sir. I have a point to argue on that account. In zone one, Himachal Pradesh is your last preference, yes. which is predominantly a tribal state. In zone two, it is Jharkhand. Yes. In zone three, it is Chhattisgarh. Yes. In zone four, it is Nagaland. Yes. And if I look at the overall preference of zones also, northeast is the fifth choice. Which is predominantly tribal. Yes. So are you biased against tribal? No, sir. All the states are equal for, for me, except the Maharashtra, as it is government state. But all the other states are the equal for me. And the, I put one criteria. Wait a minute, Abhi. You are saying that all the states are equal except Maharashtra. Yes, sir. Maharashtra is not equal. No, uh, it is the affinity. Uh, Abhijit, have you ever experienced crisis of conscience? Crisis of conscience means a situation where you could not understand what is the right action to take or what is the right thing to do. Yes, sir. Have you faced any such situation in your life? Yes, sir. When was it? Sir, whenever I uh, go for the purchase of the chicken, mm. so I have a conflict. And your inclination is mostly towards right to life or right to livelihood? Sir, I am not able to uh, give priority till that. That is a convenient choice. choice. Yeah. You, you like, like chicken? chicken. Yes. That is why you support rights of poultry farmer more than the rights of chicken. Sir, I am uh, uh, collecting the data on it, but I am not uh, make From which sources? Sir, new magazines or internet. So, what objective criteria will you adopt when you have all the data at your table? Yes. Now you are to take that very important decision. Yes. How would you take that decision? All the data is available at your hands. Sir, I take a utilitarian approach. Mm. Uh, the greatest happiness for the greatest number. Okay. So, utilitarianism is the normative ethical thought that will shape your opinion at that point. Yes. Was Gandhi a utilitarian? No, sir. Can you say anyone who is utilitarian who participated in the Indian national movement? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, Vivian Roy, 
Abhijit, suppose you have cleared the examination. Yes. And it is your first day in office. Yes. You have just entered the room. Yes. You have been appointed to the prestigious Indian police services. Yes. Suppose. And the phone rings. And the person who is on the other side of the phone screams and cries that a communal violence has broken out in the city. Yes. What will be your response? How would you respond to that phone call? Yes, sir. So first, uh, it is the objective verification uh, from the ground intelligence whether it is the correct situation or not. If it is the correct situation, speedy uh, 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 requirements of the police force uh, and the situation. Uh, third, it is the shutdown of the internet to further spread of the crisis in the other area. Mm -hmm. so fourth, it is ensuring the safety of the vulnerable people through the deployment of the adequate uh, men and women uh, police constables at the same time. Okay. Amjit, you have placed some of the group A services at a lower preference or you have given a lower preference to yes. some of the group A services when compared to the Danix and Danips. Yes. What is the reason for this? So, sir, uh, I am not able to uh, exactly figure out the issue, but my friend uh, already in the service, uh, they told that the Danics, Danics and Danics uh, prefer more administrative uh, opportunities mm. uh, than the other uh, group A services. So, by, by the way, what is your seventh choice? Seventh choice in the order, order of services? services. This is filled by you, right? Yes, this preference. Yes, sir. So, did you think before you were filling the yes, sir. different orders? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you name the top five services that you have preferred? Yes, sir. So, first. Okay. Indian Administrative Services is your first, first choice. Yes. Second choice is? IPS. Yes. Third choice is? IFS. Yes. Fourth, fourth choice? IRS, IT. Yes. Fifth, IRS. Sir, sir. Fifth, Indian Audit and Account. Okay. Sixth, Indian Audit and Account. Seventh, Indian Audit and Account. Eighth, Indian Audit and Account. Abhijit, before we close this interview, yes. tell me what life lessons you have learned by looking at the life of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Sorry, sir, I am not What have you learned yes, from Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj? Yes. So, first, it is the discipline in their life towards the, all the stakeholders, whether they are Maharaj, whether they are opponents, also. So, second, it is the humanistic approach. In the humanistic approach, on the ground level, it is the farmer who brings various reforms, uh, like the free, uh, free uh, feeds are to the, towards the farmer. Thank you, Abhijit. Your Thank interview you, is sir. over. We will reconnect with you in some time for your feedback. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Take a seat. Okay. Thank you. Abhijit, let me start with the good things. Yes. You are dressed appropriately, but uh, the knot of your tie is not at the right place. Yes, sir. It is slightly loose. Yes. Second, you have not shaved today. Yes, if that is the impression. So you should not go in this manner, half shaved. Yes, sir. Because it creates an impression as if you are very lazy or you're not very serious yes. about the occasion. Yes. Then, uh, your composure was good. Yes. You appeared very decent. Yes. You behaved in a polite manner. Your 
Obviously, you are appearing for the interviews in Marathi, right? And uh, though English is English, will not be the language in which you will give the interview. Yet, factoring in in the language issue, yet I think that you spoke well for most parts of the interview. Yes, thank. You. Some of your answers were very good. Yes, some of them were factually also correct. Yes. But Abhijit, uh, since this is a critical analysis, yes. let me highlight some of the things where you need improvement there. Yes, sir. First is the eye contact. Yes, sir. When somebody asks you the question, yes. you should look into that person's eye in a decent and polite manner. Yes, sir. You should wait for the, the question to finish. Once the question is over, then you should slightly lower your gaze. It gives an impression as if you're processing something. Some of the questions you were too ready to answer. And it gave an impression as if you have already have a ready-made answer. And where you do not have a ready-made answer, you fumbled. Or you said that, I'm not very sure. In fact, in one of the instances, when sir asked you a question, you said, I forgot the question. Yes. This shows your lack of interest or lack of, uh, uh, say, alacrity. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. So, you need to keep up with that. Then the very first question that I asked you, that uh, what are the three values that you will hold always? You included one of them as honesty. The next question I asked, if there is a clash between integrity and honesty, what will you pick? You picked integrity and you dropped that immediately. Do you understand yes, that? Yes, sir. So there was a conflict in your own statement. Yes. It means that you do not have... It gives an impression or it creates an impression as if you do not have enough knowledge about yourself. Serial. Mm -hmm. If you fail on some of the current affairs related questions, that would be pardoned. But you cannot fail on questions which are related to you. Yes. It means that you do not have complete control over your mind. It shows something like that. Understand that? So never do that. Yes. Always take some time because the next question was directed to defeat the previous. Right? Then. Uh, Sir asked you a question about cricket yes. and you said we are doing good in test cricket but you could not objectively defend that. Yes. In many of the answers you took the right line but you could not objectively def defend that. Yes. You could have said that uh, yes the rankings are poor, we have lost few matches but when I am evaluating the performance in test cricket I am evaluating it from various angles like how much we have been uh, playing the brand what kind of brand of cricket are we playing in how many types of uh, pitches we have performed yes what were the good things about uh, the team building process yes. and all of that right then uh, i think uh, at one place at one place you made an exaggerated movement of your hands. You should avoid that. Like the two handles where you rest yes. your hand. Yes. The hand should not move beyond that. Yes. To understand that? Yes. That should be the way. You should not go beyond that. Otherwise, it it makes the engagement very informal. Yes. Right? Uh, then there was a question regarding... Uh, your mechanical engineering background and how it will help you in your civil services. Yes. So you started answering something which was on an altogether different tangent. Right. You started saying that we will I we will build networks in yes. civil services because I'll draw some knowledge yes. from my experience. You have to listen to the question very carefully. And I cannot recall this. You said so many times this statement gave an impression as if you have read everything, but you are failing to recall. Yes. That's it. Do you understand that? Yes. Rather, you should say, sir, I am not aware. Yes. Do you yes. understand that? Yes. Or you should say that, sir, uh, I have the foggiest yes. idea about it. It's a good way of saying that I am not fully convinced about what you are asking. I do not have the, or you should say, sir, I do not have the requisite knowledge to answer that question. Yes, I lack the information. Use such kind of lines. Don't say that, I cannot recall. I cannot recall. Yes. It means that you have read everything. 
that is present under the sun and beyond it. Do you get that? Abhijit, yes. see, this is not a test of your knowledge. Your knowledge has already been tested. Yes. Right? Two questions, Abhijit, which we did not ask you. So yes. now I'm putting them forward. First is, uh, if there is a question, what went wrong in your previous attempts? What is your answer? Uh, in interview, sir. In your previous civil services attempts? Uh, sir, uh, it is the... क्वेश्चन अभिजीत ये कि सार्थी स्कॉलरशिप मिला है आपको राष्ट्र स्टेट का ये किस चीज के लिए मिला है आपको जो इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड तो ऐसे अगर क्वेश्चंस आपके पास आते हैं, yes sir, तो ये आपके लिए फुल टॉस है, yes, क्योंकि ये आपके पर्सनालिटी का एक वाइब्रेंट डायमेंशन एक्सपोज करता है, yes, तो आप कभी मत चुकिएगा ऐसे क्वेश्चंस को आंसर, yes, yes, ठीक है अमित जी, over, over sir, decent, thank you, but you can definitely improve, yes, right, yes sir, yes sir, अमित जी, very bad. Okay. You entered backwards both the times. I'm not able to understand. When you entered, yes. your back was towards us. You should have walked in with your face forward. Yes, yes. yes. Not with your back forward. Yes. And then you turned and you came inside. Yes, yes. Get the point? Yes. Sir. So never do that. Yes. So the entry itself, you know, the, the people get a different uh, wrong opinion. Yes. And uh, it gave a feeling as if, you know, you are still not self-composed. You said, just now you said, the last interview you were not uh, very, very composed. Yes. The same continues here also then. Yes. Right. So, take a deep breath before you enter. Yes. Relax. Yes. Yes. They will not uh, uh, beat you up. They are here to talk to you. We are a very informal uh, setup. Yes. So, relax yourself and be relaxed all through the interview. You yes. seemed very tense. Yes. Your hand movement, you know, the hand movement was this. Yes. This is this was your hand movement. This is not a very uh, good uh, uh, position for the hands to be in. Yes. If you have to keep your hands uh, tight, keep it in this manner. Yes. Right? Because if you keep it this way, you know, your fingers uh, bobbling, shaking, or you are playing with your thumb, just now you were playing with your pen, you were doing this. Yes. All these are indicators indicators of nervousness. Yes, sir. So, right. and otherwise keep your hand on your uh, armrests. Yes. Right? So, you were not shaven, you gave a very bad impression. Yes. Very well dressed. If this is the dress you're going to be wearing for uh, the final interview, yes, it's a good uh, choice. Tight, yes. Yes, sir. It should be perfectly worn, you know, the sleeve should be absolutely tight now. Yes. Towards your the button should not be visible, yes. and uh, length should be just touching your the top of the belt. Yes, that is where it should be. You entered, you wished everybody individually, but thereafter your eye contact was fifty. Yes, he asked a question. You kept looking at him and answering him only. I felt as if I was uh, missing in the hall. He felt as if he was missing in the hall. So, I have a lot of advice. Other people will feel offended. Yes. Right? So, what did he say just now? Primarily, see when you answer, listening to the question, focus only on the person who is asking you a question. Yes. But when you are answering, predominantly you will look at the person who is asking you the question. Yes. But in between, steal a glance here and there with all the panelists. Okay. If anybody has told you not to do it, please don't do that. It's yes. totally wrong. Yes. It is not right. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, you have a very decent smile and you maintain it throughout in a decent way. Now, serious questions, you uh, did you uh, remove the smile and otherwise you maintain the smile. That was good. Uh, eye contact, I just told you. Uh, if you did not know the question, you should have said no. I don't know. Yes. 
was okay, good, but uh, it became a bit too open. So that was a little uh, jarring. Yes, sir. And as you said very rightly, the moment the question was asked, and within a fraction of a second, you started the answers. Yes. So it gave a feeling as if the whole thing is motorized. Take a, take a few seconds gap, a little lapse is advisable. Yes. Don't just shoot immediately. I asked you a question about hiking and trekking. You said hiking is for a short period, trekking is for a long period. But the main difference is not that trend. The main difference is hiking is on, uh, you know, uh, trails, previously made trails. Yes. Whereas uh, trekking is wild environment. Yes. Wild natural environment. Yes. That is the main difference. Yes. Yes, you talked about uh, uh, this could be a few hours to a day and that could be for a few days. That is right. But the major difference lies in the fact that yes. that is what? Knowledge of cricket has just been covered. Your state preferences, you didn't answer the question very well. Okay. That was a very big faux pas. So, and uh, whenever this question is asked to you, See, the, the best option is, uh, I had to exercise the choices, so I had uh, given my choices. Yes. But I am willing to work anywhere I am uh, given a choice to work with. Yes. Right? So, yes. don't bring in the distance factor in that. Yes. It's not required. Yes. And my friends advised me, and what have you done about it? Yes. So it's your interview, not your friend's interview. Yes. Okay? Uh, situational question you answered well. You were so overawed at the end of it that you lost your direction. See the place from where you have come, that is the place from where you should be returning also. Yes. Right? So, all in all, it gave a feeling as if you were not too confident and you were totally overawed. By the situation. Whereas, that should not be the case at all. Yes. If you get overawed by the situation, your performance is going to dip very badly. If you got 143 last time, it should happen that you get uh, 143 or 145 only this time. Right. This time it has to be? You have to take a shot at what 180, 190. Yes. So 143 chalega nahi na? Nice. So 143 mein aapne dekh liya kya hua tha. Yes. So make sure that you go in relaxed, comfortable and go in with the aim of coming out victorious. Yes. Right? Yes sir. Thank you. Abhijit, uh, good point first. Uh, you yes. answer the answer for India, that was good. Yes. Uh, one health approach, we think. Uh, I couldn't ask one question, which was uh, your strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So, what will be the answer if the question comes? What are your strengths? Sir, first, uh, my dear uh, strength is the objectivity to look the facts. require more sleep than usual. Yes. Okay. And? Sir, uh, I do not uh, regard towards the health when there was a food choice. Uh, and I don't hear you at the health minister. <laughs> <laughs> you are very poorly. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Yes. Lazy wali, jo aapki weakness, usko bada chain kar lege better. Yes. Okay. Prepare some weakness which doesn't sound too bad. Yes. For services. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sir, uh, so we have to give an answer to the question of what are your strengths? which mm -hmm. you gave. That mm -hmm. means we were well prepared for that. But uh, as sir has rightly said that uh, at many places it seemed that everything is motorized. Yes. Uh, you have well prepared for the question and that is why as soon as the question was out, you started answering without even giving it a thought. Yes. See, what happens in the first time? You have to ask the question that you will ask. The second variant is asked. 
लेकिन आप आंसर करते हैं अपने दूसरा सर ने बता ही दिया आई कॉन्टेक्ट के बारे में तो आप ठीक करिए जैसे बताया गया है जो एस पी ऑनेज वाला क्वेश्चन था उसमें थोड़ा और कोवेरेंस चाहिए था मुझे आज सर लेकिन एक्सप्रेस में जो है वो ऑल टुगेदर हर जगह एलिवेटेड होता है जिससे कोई भी अंदर ना घुस पाए यस सर थैंक यू स्पेशली एनिमल्स यस ये दोनों डिफरेंस है एक्सप्रेस वे और नेशनल वे थैंक यू सर आप एंड में जैसे थोड़ा पता नहीं यू आर ओवर ऑल ऑल यू आर स्ट्रेस्ड आउट तो आप डायरेक्शन भूल गए थे वो नॉट ठीक करी साइंस वाले क्वेश्चन में यू ऑल टुगेदर सेड नो 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 आई एम नॉट अवेयर आई एम नॉट अवेयर यू डिडंट इवन ट्राई दैट्स व्हाट द इंप्रेशन आई गॉट मशीन लर्निंग में आपने कोशिश भी नहीं की सोचने की कि सर गिव मी टाइम सम टाइम फ्यू सेकंड्स यस बैक टू बैक में क्वेश्चन शूट करता गया न्यू सेड नो 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 एटलीस्ट गिव द क्वेश्चंस अ ट्राई यस तुरंत ना कहने की आदत जो है वो कोई चेंज कर बाकी ओवरऑल योर परफॉर्मेंस वाज सेटिस्फाइड यस थैंक यू सर अभिजीत दो तीन चीजें मैं और हाईलाइट करना चाहता हूं एक आपने जो आंसर दिया था डिस्टेंस वाला यस डिस्टेंस तो बिल्कुल नहीं होना चाहिए आपके आंसर क्यों yes, क्योंकि आप सोच के देखो आप एक ऐसे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हो जहाँ पे रिमोट एरियाज जो होंगे वो हो सकता है थोड़ा डिस्टेंट हो डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर से yes. तो आप उनको क्या लोअर प्रेफरेंस दोगे yes. ऐसा इम्प्रेशन ड्रॉ किया जा सकता है आपके आंसर से दूसरा आपने वॉच पहनी हुई है yes. वहाँ पे अलाउड नहीं है नहीं है तो आपको खोल देना चाहिए यहाँ पे बीस जिससे कि आप वो फील पूरा ले सको यस देखो जो सोल्जर्स है वो वेल प्रिपेयर होते हैं Yes, किसी भी सिचुएशन के लिए स्टिल दे डू अ फुल ड्रेस रियर्स बिफोर दे गो फॉर द ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी परेड यस राइट सो बिकॉज फुल ड्रेस रिहर्सल प्रिपेयर यू साइकोलॉजिकली फॉर दैट थिंग इसलिए आप वो ध्यान रखिएगा yes. एक क्वेश्चन मैंने आपसे पूछा था क्राइसिस ऑफ कॉन्शियस वाला यस yes. जो आपने बोला था yes. कि राइट टू लाइफ वर्सेज राइट टू लाइवलीहुड वो आंसर देखो क्राइसिस ऑफ कॉन्शियस तो आपने अच्छा हाईलाइट किया था वहां पर yes. लेकिन उसके बाद आपने अपने पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू को अच्छे तरीके से नहीं रखा yes. ऐसा मैं कह रहा कि मैंने देखो जो आपका इंटरव्यू है ना वो एक फुल सर्कल की तरह yes. अब या तो आप पहला डॉट ड्रॉ करो yes. और जब निकलो तो पूरा सर्कल आपने जैसा सोचा था वैसा हो जाए yes. या जैसा इंटरव्यू ले रहे उन्होंने जैसा सोचा वैसा हो जाए yes. मैंने आपसे पहला क्वेश्चन किया था कि आपकी क्या वैल्यूज है आपने ऑब्जेक्टिविटी बताया yes. आखिरी क्वेश्चन वैसा ही था कि सारे फैक्ट आपके टेबल पे है लो ऑब्जेक्टिव डिसीजन आप नहीं ले पाए वहां पर कोई एक अच्छा ऑब्जेक्टिव डिसीजन आपने बोला कि अभी मैं अभी भी मैं फिर भी हूँ क्राइसिस ऑफ कॉन्शियस मतलब ऑब्जेक्टिविटी इज नॉट दी पेनेशिया फॉर ऑल दी प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू टेक द सब्जेक्टिव अप्रोच एज वेल इन लाइफ इसलिए जो वैल्यू आपने चूज की है वो ऐसे चूज कर दो कि जिनपे ज्यादा कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी ना क्रिएट हो सके yes. जैसे जस्टिस आप कभी ड्रॉप नहीं कर सकते इसको इंटीग्रिटी कभी ड्रॉप नहीं कर सकते आप ऐसे वैल्यूज लीजिए ठीक है और आप ये रखिए उससे अच्छा कि इन बादशाह विद ऑब्जेक्टिव अप्रोच ऐसा कर ठीक है एंड आई मे ऑल्सो टेक सब्जेक्टिव कंसिडरेशन लाइक से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज सम इशू रिगार्डिंग से सम रिलीजियस प्रैक्टिस तो वहां पे आप ऑब्जेक्टिविटी कैसे लोगों रिलीजन yes. में तो बहुत कुछ सब्जेक्टिव होता है तो yes. क्या आप रिलीजियस सेंटिमेंट्स में ऑनर करोगे लोगों को yes. uh, बाकी ओवरऑल जी जैसे बाकियों ने भी हाईलाइट किया जी था आपका इंटरव्यू अब अगर हम मार्क्स की बात करें अभिजीत तो एक हम हमने आपको एक एज दिया है यहाँ पर दैट यू हैव अपीयर इन इंग्लिश बट यू आर गोइंग टू अपीयर इन मार्क्स सो हो सकता है कि आपकी स्पीकिंग स्किल्स वहाँ पे 
बेटर होगी तभी आपने वो लैंग्वेज चूज की राइट इस परफॉर्मेंस पे अभिजीत आपको वन सिक्सटी मिलेगा ठीक है लेकिन अगर मराठी में दे रहे होते आप हमने ये कंसिडर किया तो ये मार्क्स वन सेवेंटी हो जाएंगे इसलिए हमने आज आपको वन सेवेंटी दिए ठीक है अभिजीत डेफिनेट इम्प्रूवमेंट है पिछली बार से और देखो बेटा यू हैव फॉट वेरी राइट देर इज सो मच ऑफ हार्ड वर्क इट इज we can see that in this tab this is your sixth attempt yes. right so have a very positive approach towards the shortcomings that are being highlighted to you yes. because at the end all of us we want you to go into that final list yes right yes so aap isko bahut positive approach mein lijiye is pe kaam kijiye apne issues pe ye choti choti cheezon pe agar abhijit aap kaam karenge 15 20 number badh jayenge 190 is an excellent score Yes. फिर मुश्किल होगा आपको रोक पाना आई एस में जाने से ठीक है आपने लास्ट टाइम कौन सा में चूज किया था ठीक है अभिजीत आप कुछ पूछना चाहते हैं हमसे थैंक यू